I'm Ian, I work at Haggerty over here in the UK. Uh, I'm one of the team leaders for the, uh, the new business team. Uh, here we have the family Morgan, which is a 1982 um, Morgan 44. Um, this Morgan was purchased um, by my late grandfather um, at the local Morgan dealer where it's still serviced today. Um, upon his passing, it came to my dad, uh, and upon his passing, here we are today. Um, it's very much the family Morgan. Um, my mother enjoys doing many road regularity rallies with it. Um, my sister, when she comes over, um, also enjoys driving it. Um, I love driving it, and my, uh, my four-year-old son is absolutely besotted with it. Um, so it's very much part of the family. Um, they made just under 100 of these um, due to a, a small argument with uh, the Ford Motor Company, which previously supplied the engine. Ford didn't want to supply Morgan, so Morgan went out to the market and um, Fit were willing to supply them a lovely little 1600 twin cam engine and five speed gearbox, um, which this one has. As with most Morgans, um, many of them survive today because of the type of vehicle it is and um, how readily all the spare parts are available. Every day, sort of driving to and from work, I, uh, I normally drive a modern car, which you get in, you put it in to drive, the lights come on automatically, the wipers come on. It's a lovely thing to use. However, when you drive the Morgan, you're close to the road, it doesn't have power steering, you can feel everything that's coming through the steering. And um, it's a real, I would say a driver's car, but you feel sort of connected to it. There is a scratch on it I remember making when I was about 10 and not telling my dad. And that's still there today. And there is now a scratch on the left-hand side of the car, which my son's made. If it was scruffy and unpresentable, I, I would get it painted, but part of me thinks by taking that away, it loses a bit of the family connection. I like to think it's still a nice looking car. I remember sitting on my father's lap at the age of six, and of course you felt like I was going 100 miles an hour when in fact I was probably doing five. I'd love to think that when my time comes, my son will have an equal passion for it as I do, and um, it will just continue to be part of the family rather than just a car.